Hello. In this tutorial I will demonstrate the use of exponential smoothing function in Excel and how it can be used in forecasting. Exponential smoothing is a special case of weighted uh, moving average where we forecast the future period based on the current period actual figures and current period forecast. And we will use coefficient alpha, which is called smoothing constant, which has values between 0 and 1. Let's forecast gasoline prices using exponential smoothing and using uh, smoothing constant alpha equals 0 0.2. We start with the forecast in week 2, which simply equals actual price uh, of gasoline in week 1. Forecast in week 3 can now be calculated based on the actual and forecasted values in week 2 and it equals 0 0.2 times actual in week 2, 21, plus 0 0.8 times forecast in week 2, 17. When you add them up you get forecast of 17.8. Once we know the actual price uh, of gasoline in week 3 we can now calculate uh, forecast for week 4, which would be again 19 times 0 0.2 plus uh, 0 0.8 times 17.8 and you get 18.04, which is here. And you could calculate in the same way all the other values. In order to see what is the accuracy of our forecast, we need to see what is the difference between actual gasoline prices and our forecasts which gives us the forecasted error. We do the square of all these values and we get square forecasted errors. Now we have 11 values of uh, square forecast errors so to compare with other forecasts with various uh, data sizes uh, we need to see what is the average of these values which we call mean square error and it equals 8.98 in this example. Using data for gasoline prices for 12 weeks, let's forecast gasoline price in week 13 using exponential smoothing and smoothing constant alpha equals 0 0.2. I will use exponential smoothing function which is in data tab, in data analysis, exponential smoothing and first we need to select the input range which is the prices of gasoline in these 12 weeks then we need to enter damping factor which is 1 minus alpha therefore it is 0 0.8 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8 and we need to specify output range which is here and it will populate the data for you. We won't forecast for the week 13 so I need to copy the formula from week 12 also for the week 13 and that will give me my forecasted value and in order to compare with other forecasting technique we want to see what is the mean square error so we need to see for each actual and forecast what is the forecasting error we want to square it shift 6 and 2 gives you the square and we copy these formulas for all our forecasts and we find what is the average of these squared forecasted errors which we call mean square error.